Uh, Barista, good afternoon. Good afternoon, mm, You're welcome, sir. Okay. Welcome, our honorable Barista. Mm. Now, the, the only man that have stood uh, very strong to defend this case without anything. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, please, uh, I want you to throw more light to uh, what really transpired today in the court. Okay, you know, today what, the matter was adjourned for the year of application challenging the, the court's decision to defend the charge. Yeah. On ground that the allegations which form the forefront of the offence in question, alleged offence, they emanated from the institution outside this court. So, which is southeast of the Anambra, Enugu, and the, and the rivers. Actually. So, we are asking the court to, to transfer the case to courts over there to handle. And also, in line with the decision of the court of appeal in Nambekano's case against the uh, FRM, we are in the court. Um, uh, also decided when the subject matter was still open before the court of appeal for determination. It's clear that the, the prior government, prior headquarters, would have no decision to defend this charge. In particular, the offenses which you are being faced, uh, charged with now. The courts in town is Anambra or Kakaka, Anambra or Enugu should also be assigned to handle that matter. That's the decision of court of appeal. That in this subject matter, which we also reinforcing them before the prior court. Yes. So, however, the absence of um, uh, David now with his first fourth defendant uh, affected the entire proceeding because um, we are aware that um, uh, since October last year nobody has made communication contact with him and the information available to us and everyone of us is that uh, he left the house cannot be found and of course activities in the southeast in security which is um, providing the entire southeast can account for his whereabouts and the effort has been made to report the situation to the police and the police also issued a, a, a declaration that he cannot be found. So that communication unfortunately has not been formally brought to the attention of the courts because I was thinking that uh, that has been uh, forwarded to the court. So on account of that, the matter was adjourned to 24th of October for hearing of our application principally because uh, the, that application was first of all we had at the disposal before we proceed before the court took further steps in the, in the matter. So that is what transpired in no shell today in court. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Now, uh, looking at uh, the absence of uh, David Mwangwisi, what could be the implication to we, the other defendants, and the shorty? What could be the uh, implication the, if, he's, if, if he's not available to this next adjoining date? The, legally speaking, the, what is required in circumstance to do, the process has been initiated. Well, the court has to be satisfied of his whereabouts or where he's not in court. So the a report has been made to the police to that effect, okay. and the police have probably issued a declaration to that effect that uh, he's missing, he cannot be found. So uh, what the shorty need to do vis-a-vis uh, -vis the counsel who represents him in court is uh, to file such communication to the court and also effort they've made so far in testing him. Of course, we are away that such cases are prevalent in the Southeast. So um, that's all. And when court is satisfied, it's not, it's not available. Two things will happen. The other court, the, the name, name is struck out from the court, from the charge, um, which is the uh, most proper thing to do. And then now we proceed with the hearing of application, respect of you, um, Bright Shimeze and um, Shidebel and uh, Benjamin. So that's, uh, the, that's the most pertinent to, to do to do by legal speaking. So that's all. I don't think it will have far reaching uh, effect or impact on your case. Okay. Uh, because uh, relatively I don't I do not think David Mobis has a has even serious matter before the court. It's a matter of fact. There's only one count charge. Okay. Which um is uh, influencing my kind of a misdemeanor in mm. first place. So I cannot impact on your case. And the unfortunate part, the unfortunate part is that the entire story is or the history of the face of the of the allegations Allegation against, uh, against against all of you, oh, all okay. the persons parties involved, defendants, are are the cause of action that arose from the time is south south. So and what the most confusing aspect of which I believe is uh, what apparently is affecting the, the understanding of federal government uh, uh, lawyer is the fact that the the major part of the stories. Or, or, or facts giving rise to the allegations has 
grave con arose from 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 fact relating to Martin and the Camus case, which have been severed. Okay. So and having been severed, I do not think that those facts still apply in your case. Okay. So these are these are facts I want, the point I want you to make. Okay. After all, you did not make the publication according to what you're saying in your charge. Okay. Neither should they believe. Um, uh, 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 when we make communication or Benjamin, so these are part, part of the one part of the uh, uh, information in the offense. So and it has been severed in, in, from from mass and mechanism. So it also it also go with the with his case. Okay. So these are part of arguments we have uh, struggling with issue with us before the court. Okay. That to dom to dom dominantly the facts led into your case to your case. Are majorly information they they you they prefer them they they rely upon and prefer each other against number them so that's okay a, okay yeah. okay mm. then uh, well, how about the shorty should in case the, David the, is not the, uh, the, the in court the, the next adjourned date the point is that the court uh, have directed the shorty to probably come forward and uh, explain uh, so we are now have the sufficient information regarding his whereabouts. Cannot be found when he left the house, and the appropriate thing to do by the relatives is to approach the police to report situations such as this to them, and they've done that. So, what the Chate will do is simply just to come to court and publicly uh, inform the court, look at what he was told, and uh, so and look at the look at the steps taken by the relatives to ensure that the appropriate um, thing is done. Uh, that's all. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, after all, he's been run away, he's been run away from the trial, he's robbed, scunded, nothing happened. Apart from the father we're looking for, for him. Yeah. So of course we all know that such situations is common in the south in view of the insecurity, insecurity in the area. Which is down terrorizing the entire southeast. So and uh, it can happen to any other person. So after all, we are here and uh, we have read all over the social media where some criminals and the idiots who are working with the Syria first time in Finland. Yes. Who are present that each time they set, they set, I set my feet in Finland. Uh, do this and that. But thank God they're meeting, they're meeting their water. Oh, hello. Yes. So uh, anything can happen to anybody, but nothing will happen to us. You say, you say, you say, you say, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.